Hello and welcome to another edition of Film Journal. Today we're going to take a look at the process of placing your own graphic design on a t-shirt in hopes to resell it or wear it or throw it away. It doesn't matter. Um, we're going to take a look at that. I think we're going to have a product of the day. We're going to plug another channel. Mount Cole, we got some tentative dates for filming. Uh, and it all boils down to, I want to film on Monday, Tuesday of each week for three consecutive weeks. And we should have the whole episode shot. I can confirm that uh, I'm very fortunate to have um, Katie is going to come back. She did a fantastic job playing Deidre. But she's got a very big role in the next episode. And we're also going to have Sebastian Sage back. And he plays Edward and did fantastic as well. And truth be told, I love to have every actor back. Um, it just kind of has to do with where the story went that um, those are the two that are definite right now. Today, I'm going to teach you a little bit about branding. And by teach you, I mean learn on camera and then hopefully you can learn from my mistakes. Never done this before, but I'm very excited. The general idea is to take this logo. I got two of them here. These are my trials. I'm going to take this logo, I'm actually going to do this one, darken it up a little bit, and then I'm going to slap it on this t-shirt. Now you can see there are cat hairs on the shirt, which is not ideal, and hopefully I can find a linen roller, but I'm going to slap it on the shirt, and uh, this one's going to be for me, but the idea is, uh, the idea is to be able to print out my own, my own brand, slap it on my own shirts, and then resell it, and avoid involving a third party other than you know the t-shirt makers from everything that I've researched that is legal um, so yeah so we're gonna get up and we're gonna iron that out right now literally and we'll figure out how that works um, product of the day we're gonna do this little Tascam uh, lapel mic I believe it's DR10L uh, but I'm gonna slap slap this baby on and I'm gonna wear that while I iron so you can see the audio quality yourself. Uh, I initially got this. I needed to shoot exterior and um, this microphone is extremely good at eliminating uh, the excess wind noise that you'll get with your normal shotgun mic when you go to film exterior. All right, so let's print out the um, logo thingamajig and let's see how it goes. Here we go. Let's see if it works. God, I hope it does. All right. Take a look at that. I'm gonna slap this baby on a t-shirt. So we'll start with the linen roller. And yes, this is a clean shirt, but one thing I have learned from my girlfriend having a cat is that you will get linen on everything. Yeah, there's probably a right way to do this. Looks like this is the ruler we're working with today. So, looks like, I'd say we go one inch of the skyline exactly. Only one way to find out. <laughs> So we kind of have our line there. Let's see how that works out. All right, good enough, right? That's the motto here at TMW Productions. If you can't do say, if you can't do something right, you shrug your shoulders, and you say, "Good enough." 
If you only get one shot, but uh, pretty sure we're gonna eyeball it. I'll take a quick look. You may be asking, why TMW Productions? You know, you have a ruler there. You seem to have a brain. Why on earth would you ever even think about eyeballing it? And we'll go with 10. The answer to that is, I don't know. You know, I'm no expert, but um, I don't think anybody thinks that I am. What do we think? How's that? Pretty good? Hey, yep. All right, time to go for it. Thank you for your tissue paper, Avery. It's proving very helpful. I think I saw a video where they said go up and down and then left and right. But the thing is, my image is so much wider than it is long. Definitely smell the burning. Hopefully it's not the wood. Oh well. God, it's a funny smell. You know, I like to do circular motions when I iron because you typically want to have a circular pattern on your clothing. That's what everybody likes, right? I think we're, I think we're kind of there, but I don't know. I should have probably read the directions a little more. Here at TMW Productions, we have a saying, and that saying is, if you don't know what you're doing, press record and start. I think that's it. I think it's on there. It looks on there. Find out three to five minutes when Avery tells me I'm allowed to wear it. All right, well, we did it. It's crazy to think, you know, you watch me working, you see me eyeballing it, and everybody assumes if you just eyeball it, it's not gonna come out right. Well, as you can see, they're right. The logo is slightly too low, it's driving me crazy, but sometimes you learn through experience. So what have I learned through this process? Number one, I need a cutting board where I can cut the straight line, no problem, hopefully has some measurements on it. Number two, I should probably look up how high a uh, chest logo is supposed to go on a shirt. I am certain that there is definitely a uh, magic number for that. However, I kind of like it. It actually looks okay. I really had no idea. I got like four more in this set. It's like $10. I'll put a link to the transfer pet paper online. All you really need is an inkjet printer an iron, scissors I guess, but it comes with the tissue paper. And um, so if you have any experience, I made this image in After Effects and Premiere Pro. It was kind of a, a joint effort there. So that pretty much wraps it up for today. I do want to plug a channel. Today we're going to choose Jay Horton. Jay Horton has a great show on film, how to make money in the film industry, even in the current climate. He's got years of experience making money in film. Uh, it's a small channel. Um, he just, he's very sincere and he knows what he's talking about and he's a new channel that I've been following. I'm also gonna put a link in the description to the channel that taught me how to do this, except, you know, they probably will teach you a little better than I did. I'll come out with an update soon. I do expect to start scheduling everything um, from the actors to reserving locations to the day I want to launch some kind of Kickstarter because I do think I want to do that. Thanks for coming around and that's it for today.